Ribosomes are the machinery of the cell that are responsible for synthesizing our polypeptides via a process known as translation. And translation itself, as we discussed previously, involves three important stages. We have initiation, the elongation, and the termination stage. Now, in eukaryotic cells, ribosomes begin to synthesize the polypeptide chain in the cytosol of our cell. And such ribosomes that are found in the cytosol and which are not attached to any organelle are known as free ribosomes. Now, if the growing polypeptide chain that is being synthesized by the free ribosome is destined to remain inside the cytoplasm of the cell, in such a case, the free ribosome will remain a free ribosome. It will not attach to any organelle inside the cell during the entire process of translation. However, if the growing polypeptide chain that is being synthesized by the free ribosome is destined to be either secreted by the cell or to be embedded into the plasma membrane of the cell. In such a case, the free ribosome as well as the growing polypeptide chain will go on to attach onto the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum and now the free ribosome becomes a membrane-bound ribosome. So a free ribosome is a ribosome that synthesizes polypeptides that are destined to remain inside the cytoplasm, but the membrane-bound ribosomes are those ribosomes that are responsible for forming proteins that are either secreted by the cell or which remain inside the membrane of that cell. Now, the question that we want to discuss in this lecture is the following. If all polypeptides initially begin in the free ribosomes, how exactly do the free ribosomes know to attach onto the membrane-bound organelle, our endoplasmic reticulum? So, basically, the polypeptides contain a special type of sequence of amino acids known as the signal sequence. And it's the signal sequence, as we'll see in just a moment, that directs the free ribosomes to actually bind onto the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, the process by which our growing polypeptide chain is transported from the cytoplasm and onto the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum along with the ribosome is known as translocation and this is what we're going to discuss in this lecture. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. So we have the mRNA molecule that is being read by the ribosome as shown. And as it's being read, our ribosome is producing our polypeptide chain as shown. So the signal sequence is a special sequence of amino acids that are found at the beginning, at the end terminus of the polypeptide chain. And if the polypeptide chain actually contains the signal sequence, what happens is a special complex of molecules known as the signal recognition particles or SRP which are basically a complex of RNA and protein molecules will bind onto the signal sequence and once they bind onto the signal sequence they will basically transport this entire complex known as the SRP ribosome complex onto the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. So, once again, polypeptides that are destined for secretion or to be embedded in the cell membrane begin synthesis in the free ribosome. However, shortly after the synthesis actually begins, it stops because the ribosomes are transported into the cytoplasmic side of the endoplasmic reticulum's membrane. And the polypeptide synthesis then resumes and the growing polypeptide 
peptide chain extends into the ER lumen. Now the question is, what exactly is the mechanism by which the ribosome knows to migrate onto the endoplasmic reticulum? So this should be not ribosome, but endoplasmic reticulum. So let's designate this as ER. So what distinguishes the polypeptides destined to remain inside the cytoplasm of the cell compared to those that are ultimately secreted or end up being inside the plasma membrane of that cell. So basically it's the sequence of amino acids known as the signal sequence. So a polypeptide that is destined for secretion or to be inside the cell membrane contains a special sequence of amino acids beginning uh, at the beginning of that growing polypeptide chain at the end terminus. And as soon as the ribosome synthesizes the signal sequence, a group of molecules known as the signal recognition particles or SRP can recognize that sequence. So as soon as the signal sequence is synthesized by the free ribosomes, the signal recognition particles, a complex of proteins and RNA molecules, binds to the signal sequence and moves the ribosome to the ER membrane. Now, how exactly does the binding between the SRP ribosome complex and the membrane of our endoplasmic reticulum actually take place? So let's take a look at our ER membrane. So this is the phospholipid bilayer of the ER membrane. So inside that ER membrane, we have a set of proteins that are known as the SRP receptor, where SRP stands for the signal recognition particle. So what happens is this entire SRP and uh, SRP ribosome complex binds to the SRP P receptor and when that takes place another type of membrane known as another type of protein in the ER membrane known as translocon basically opens up. So adjacent to the SRP receptor is a protein channel known as the translocon and the translocon is normally closed but upon binding of the SRP ribosome complex to the SRP receptor on the ER membrane membrane, the channel opens up and at this point, the synthesis of the growing polypeptide chain commences. So it basically resumes and the growing polypeptide chain will extend into the endoplasmic reticular lumen of that organelle. So basically in step number one, our free ribosome synthesizes the signal sequence that is found at the beginning of the growing polypeptide chain. And what the signal sequence means is the polypeptide that is produced will ultimately either be secreted by that cell or will be placed, will be embedded into the plasma membrane. Once the signal sequence is, uh, is uh, synthesized, the signal recognition particle SRP binds onto the signal sequence forming the SRP ribosome complex and then this entire complex goes on and binds onto the SRP receptor where a series of processes basically opens up this protein channel known as translocon and then once our translocon channel opens up, our growing polypeptide chain extends into the ER lumen as shown and then synthesis of that polypeptide chain basically resumes and continues. And it will continue and as it continues, our growing polypeptide chain will extend into the ER lumen. So this is the cytoplasm 
this is the ER lumen and this is the membrane that separates the cytoplasm and the ER lumen. Now as soon as termination takes place what happens is our ribosome dissociates from the growing polypeptide chain then the growing polypeptide chain basically goes into the ER lumen our ribosome dissociates and detaches from the translocon and the translocon basically shuts closed so it closes and that basically completes the process of translation and now this polypeptide chain can undergo further post translational modification processes it can fold and eventually it is basically secreted by the cell or will end up being embedded inside the membrane of that cell so basically this process by which our growing polypeptide chain is transported from the cytoplasm onto the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum is known as translocation and the mechanism by which it actually takes place involves the signal sequence and the signal recognition particles so those growing polypeptides those proteins that actually are are destined to be secreted by the cell or remain in the plasma membrane contain this signal sequence and it's the signal sequence that basically allows the signal recognition particles to recognize it to bind to it and to bring the entire growing polypeptide chain as well as the free ribosome and bring that ribosome onto the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum and once that binding takes place the free ribosome becomes a membrane bound ribosome so these membrane bound ribosomes are responsible for synthesizing proteins that are ultimately and that ultimately end up being secreted by the cell or being embedded inside the plasma membrane of the cell but those ribosomes that remain inside the cytoplasm and do not attach to the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum those ribosomes are known as free ribosomes and they synthesize those proteins that end up staying inside the cytosol of our cell.